Doug here from Motion here with a quick tech tip for you today. We go through a lot of builds with people, um, all different brands of turbos, and we deal with them before and after the build, and we try to help people out as best we can along the build. But lately we've been getting a lot of questions from people saying that, hey, my turbo's leaking, uh, like I said, regardless of what brand it is, I'm having issues with the car smoking, that type of thing. And one thing that gets often overlooked is a little tech tip that uh, Tristan from Precision Turbo gave me a while ago. And it has been a tremendous help, it fixes a lot of people's issues, and it's free. So while the turbos on the blue mule are actually mounted up high, they're able to gravity drain oil, and that's fine. Uh, a lot of guys are mounting them low these days, either there or in the trans tunnel on these new cars and old cars and that's fine we sell a lot of scavenge pumps that's what you need to get rid of the oil but they're like man my turbo seals are bad this thing's leaking uh, I start up it smokes it leaks when it sits that type of thing and it's actually a simple fix because what you have um, you'll see that the oil line the feed line on the blue mule here is actually going uphill so when the motor shuts off uh, the oil drains back and doesn't go anywhere it's done you know there's no pressure against that, that type of thing so this turbo is good zero oil in issues gravity drain everything like that um, on a low mount what happens is you have 24 48 60 inches of dash 4 line that's full of oil and once that uh, engine shut off that oil is still in there and it's and, you know it's going towards the lowest point that's where it's going to head this is going back into the engine because the lowest point is the engine. Uh, if your turbo is the lowest point, this oil is going towards your turbo. Number one, your scavenge pump is off at this point if you have a low mount. Um, so it's not pumping the oil out. Number two, the bearing is not taking up all of that oil and using it and getting rid of it. Um, so basically that oil is going to go to the path of least resistance. And what happens, your turbo seal, if you're not familiar, is kind of like a piston ring. Um, so they don't just go bad, not like a transmission seal where it's a rubber seal. And it often gets blamed, like I said, from every different company on the market. Um, so this oil is going to find a path of least resistance. So what it does is when, that, when everything's not doing its job correctly, that oil's draining out of this number four line and it's just going out both seals on the compressor and the turbine side. So you're going to fill up your compressor housing with oil, you're going to fill up your turbine housing with oil, and the next time you start, it's going to smoke like terrible. There's going to be oil leaking in the meantime uh, out of where the covers meet and everything in between. So it's a simple, quick, easy fix, and it's free. So where your oil line comes down, um, like I said, if it's the lowest point, it's going to be an issue. So what you want to do is say this is your turbo coming down. You'll want to create a low spot for that oil. So kind of like a P-trap on a sink. Um, if your oil line used to come down straight, create a trap for it. And that, what that's going to do is collect your oil before it goes in a turbo. So just kind of, I mean, you can tie it to something, zip tie it to something. Just create a trap for the oil to get caught so that it doesn't just flow straight in there. And of course, if your vehicle's been draining oil into the turbos for the last month, it's gonna take some time to get rid of all that oil. You might wanna disassemble the turbocharger, clean it all out, everything. But a lot of times, this simple, easy fix, which is free, is gonna fix your oiling issues. And uh, no longer will you have to blame the turbo or deal with your car smoking like a chimney. So I hope that helps a few people out. We get that call often. Uh, we give people that tip, they call back, thank us for the free, easy fix. And uh, I just want to spread it around so that you guys can be out there enjoying your vehicle more and having fun. So thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you next time.